Good morning, beautiful people. It is Wednesday at 8.36 in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through today a full day eating for me and what that looks like. Uh, so I do wake up at 6.30 every day, Monday through Friday. And <clears throat> I don't eat breakfast until right about now. The only thing I do do is I'll drink water. I'll have it. One of these a day, plus a little more, and I will drink coffee. So, coffee, and what I do in the coffee is just zero calorie Splenda. Uh, why zero calorie Splenda? Because exactly what it says. Zero calories. Don't need any ac extra calories from the milk, the, sh the real sugar, um, any creamers, none of that. Just keep it plain, simple, just to get a little caffeine boost. Help speed up the metabolism a little bit. And then for breakfast, it's kind of what you guys have seen from me in the kitchen cooking. But we got our eggs, four whole eggs, two egg whites with some hot sauce, zero calories. And then we got our oatmeal with our one cup of berries. Zero calories, or not zero calories, uh, but uh, this is my breakfast is about 700 calories uh, and this is going to hold me over until lunch so next clip is going to be of lunch lunch time about 12 o'clock so about three and a half four hours until i go work out uh, and for my lunch i do have six ounces of chicken with some hot sauce and mustard uh, it's great for cutting gives flavor uh, it gives it that pop uh, if you get tired of regular chicken and then one cup of white rice with salt and pepper basic plain what i enjoy and help um, and what i enjoy which is the main thing in losing weight eat something you enjoy uh, but i do want to show you what i carry around uh, my food in and what i carry my food around in is this called a six pack bag and what it is is a bag that looks like this. It can hold a blender bottle. It can hold a coffee mug or a coffee thermos. Uh, you can do the same thing on the other side, um, which is really cool. If you're out on the road all day, and you can only take protein shakes. It's a good place to put water um, and keep it cool uh, because it does have these little thermal packs uh, built in to help keep food warm or hot. So if you heat your food up at the beginning of the day, it'll help keep it warm for a couple hours. Uh, and then it's just got these different compartments for your food. So it can hold up to one, two, three, and then you can kind of slide one into the top one. So it's something really cool, uh, something I highly suggest if you are losing weight uh, and you don't want to just carry your food around in a grocery bag, because that's what I used to do. This helps keep it food, helps keep it cool, helps keep it hot, uh, just helps keep it fresh. So next meal is after the workout. Leg and shoulder day, one of my favorite days of the week, <clears throat> mainly because legs are going to burn the most calories and shoulders because I'm trying to get bigger shoulders. Uh, but this workout is all supersets. So supersets have what I've been found to be the most efficient way to get in and out of the gym quickly, but most effectively. Um, and a superset is doing one exercise and immediately doing another exercise and doing the same amount of reps on both. So for this first superset is a wide shoulder or wide leg press. Uh, my feet are high because I'm trying to work my hamstrings a little more. I'm bringing my knees, my thighs all the way to my chest and then pushing up. Supersetting, going directly into these side lateral uh, dumbbell raises. Uh, really working that lateral head of the shoulder to try and make them pop a little more. Uh, you want to bring them up to 90 to a little bit higher than 90 to really incorporate all four heads of the shoulder. For the next ex superset, it's going to be a narrow stance uh, leg press with my feet close together. And this is going to be working 
more of your quadriceps. So, so the muscles um, that pop through the shorts uh, on top. Uh, so this is the upright rows. And the upright rows are trying to bring my elbows up as high as possible while trying to bring the bar to my chin. I do have a slight tear in my rotator uh, cuff. And so the weight is extremely light and I'm pulling the weight as high as I can right now uh, before I hit that pain threshold. Next superset, <clears throat> leg extensions. This is a staple for me um, just because I have found it to uh, really work those quadriceps, work all foreheads of the quadricep, uh, and mainly because I, I just enjoy the movement. I enjoy the squeeze at the top of the, mo at the motion, and I enjoy just the way um, that the overall machine feels. So that is going to be 10 reps, and then immediately into a bent over uh, kettlebell. And the reason I'm using kettlebells is just giving a different uh, angle on the shoulders the weight is closer to the ground and then further out at the top of the motion. And for this, I'm trying to bring it down to my eye level and then going up as far as possible. Lying hamstring curls. These are the most uh, hurtful in the sense, uh, but probably the most beneficial because other than seated, you get the full range of motion uh, with the lying hamstring curls got to squeeze every last one of them out that is the most difficult port uh, for this one it's a new machine that we got but it's a side lateral just like the dumbbells that were on the first superset uh, this one just takes all the weight from your outside hands uh, and allowing you to do more weight by allowing the weight to rest on your biceps slash elbows. And then for the last superset is a pretty simple one, calf raises. Everybody wants calves, but no one wants to work calves. Or everybody wants to calves, but they don't know how to work calves. And the most beneficial way to work calves is slow and control. Control the weight all the way down and all the way up. And really letting uh, your calf muscle uh, extend all the way down and then all the way up to really get the full range of motion because your calf uh, is such a large muscle and gets worked so much throughout the day through walking or running or whatever it may be. And then last thing, and this is a new thing I'm doing, is I am doing these leg races, three sets of 20 every day. Uh, I think I can bring up my abs more and when I'm at a lower body fat and the way I'm going to do that uh, is by exercising them every day uh, and this is the exercise ab exercise that probably works the obliques your abdominals uh, and right here you can see I'm putting my hands underneath my butt to kind of help force those last couple reps out uh, but that is it uh, for this workout that was my shoulder and leg workout Hope you guys enjoyed. We are about five hours later after the chicken and rice meal, about 30 minutes after the workout. And for my next meal, it is going to be a protein shake. And the reason for protein shakes is just like you have chicken, egg whites, turkey, beef, all these sources of protein. Protein powder is the same thing. It's the same genetic makeup. Your body is going to use it, the same absorption that it's going to use if you eat it. Um, so when protein powder gets a bad rap um, for a lot of reasons, but it is completely fine and completely normal to use it in order to get protein into your body because you do want about one gram of protein per body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you need about 200 grams of protein. 
But for me, uh, I use gold standard. Uh, we have vanilla and gold standard uh, chocolate. And what I do is I mix the two together kind of to give you the uh, chocolate vanilla swirl ice cream taste. Um, kind of psych myself out, make the water real cold, put it all together, trick your mind into thinking it's ice cream. Uh, but I enjoy it, and what I enjoy most about it is it is budget friendly. As you can see, this bag has 80 servings, 80 servings in that bag. So if you have two servings a day, that's 40 days, math. But another reason I like it is this bag only cost me, cost us, $40. So that is about 50 cents per scoop, a dollar a day. So protein, completely reliable, uh, completely reliable source. Uh, it's easy, it's fast. Uh, you can drink it on the road, you can drink it uh, if you have to go somewhere. Um, just really easy meal to eat. If you don't want a protein shake, you don't have to have a protein shake. It's not going to guarantee you muscles or lose body fat if you have a protein shake. If you just want chicken breast, you can do chicken breast. I just prefer to do it this way because it's easy uh, and keeps me full. So that is meal number three. Something that helps me when I'm losing weight. Uh, it helps get my water in and helps uh, with sugar cravings is this zero calorie mango tropical flavored water. Um, it just tastes good. Uh, when I want something sweet, this is something good to go to. Uh, it is a lot of, it's one liter. So I drank about half of it last night and this is the other half today. So just a tip, if you need help getting your water in, flavored waters, way to go. Final meal of the day. Final meal of the day is going to be very easy because it's leftovers. So what I have right here is eight ounces of turkey tenderloin. It was very easy to do. All right, pre-made, just threw it in the oven. Next was edamame pasta with sausage, some spinach and tomatoes. A very good rule of thumb when you're losing weight is to use smaller bowls. So that is a normal bowl that would people use. Uh, this is uh, one of my bulking bowls. I would fill this thing up to the top that size compared to that size. So you can just tell the difference in sizes. Uh, but the reason the reason for the smaller bowl is to trick your mind. If I would have the same amount of serving that I would put in the big bowl, then I would automatically want more. I would want to fill up that bowl more. This way, then a smaller bowl, there's less surface area, so there's less area to put food in. Uh, another way to do it is add or to use a smaller fork so that way you have to take more bites. Um, you, so you're eating longer, you're just playing tricks on the mind and that's kind of what it comes down to when you're losing weight and when you start to feel hungry and you start to have cravings. It's tricking the mind into thinking it's getting things in the body that the body wants. So one thing I do are... 100 calorie Greek yogurt, 10 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. And that is my final meal. Uh, it just is everything that I want. I will put my calories and macros down below in the description. Um, yeah. But another rule of thumb with Adamambe pasta or anything that you can't weigh out to the exact measurement, is always go smaller than what you think a serving size is. So if I think a serving size is a bowl or a half a bowl, then I always want to go less. So that way I'm always less on my calories. It's always better to be safe than sorry. But that is going to be it. 